Pues Hércules Arturo, la verdad que más matcha para el Steamix, pero bueno, a ver qué es lo que es. La, la verdad que él ha venido mantequilla. El... Y una cosa, no podía haber holdeado el dash. No sé bueno, no. Huge. Huge por parte de Maskill. Da penetración Y yo la verdad es que no quiero eh, Empezar a cagarme en todo Pero es que un Pulseidon O sea un Poseidon con la skin de Pulseidon Es victoria prácticamente a full Ojo esto es huge Nice Una doble, una doble, una doble Doble kill en la dúo, doble kill en la dúo, boys. El low. Y yo, Toti, eh, ¿me explicas? No mucho, seis horas. Bueno, si nos aburrimos, falso ese. ¡Ah, es todo uno! ¡Hostia, es verdad! Aquí no pone botrés ni nada. Curioso, la verdad. Que yo que ha pasado ahí. Rowan. Si tiene 7000 de vida, hermano. Y yo una cosa, ¿cuánto dura la, la chupada, tío? Esto le puede salir... Le puede salir bien. No, ¿verdad? Arturo Late debería volar con Rami Merlin. ¿Me explicas que Late? Porque ahora mismo le sacan 3K. Esto va a hacer 4K y medio. ¡A no ser que Toti la robe! ¡Let's go! ¡Vamos ahí! ¡Let's go! ¡Huge! ¡Blink ofensivo! ¡Blink ofensivo! Joder, el Toti haga una X, tío. Pero cabrón. I mean, it was a great play from Toddy, but you gotta just reset there. You don't have to 50-50 those. Rama Snipe, level 14, doing a lot of damage. Rotwin, though, might be in some trouble here. Double Riptide's away. Got a lot of movement speed, but does he have enough to find a way out? Use the last of his Omi to try and slow down Oath and just buy as much time as he can. Rotwin will go down here, so at least a turnaround out of the Hounds. Oath will get the credit for that kill on there. Que pretendía hacer Rowan ahí, la verdad. Esto es huge, eh. A eso me refería con castigar al Arturo. Bueno, aquí puede seguir presionando en medio. ¿No? Porque el Hércules no ha rotado. Pues que se ha salido peruano ahora. Vale, nice. Sigue, sigue, sigue. Esto sí es uno, esto sí es uno de gratis. Esto sí es uno de gratis. No. Robalo, 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 robalo. No, más kill, tírate en dos. Nice Robarla, robarla, robarla Huge 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 team fight No, no Vale, vale, es zombie, es zombie, es zombie, es zombie Sigue siendo nice, sigue siendo nice Nice From the Steamix Eh, y Sotos Mirad si da alguna habilidad, brother Y ganar en la team fight As he continues to bat away at the carries. No. Beautiful Aegis by Crimson, but has to juke out. Nice! Let's team with the Talisman. Let's go! Is Arturo también en nice? No! Rakami, down to a quarter HP. Lysimix very healthy on this hurt. No falles. Huge. Sigue, sigue. Era un blink. Era un blink. Dos al Artemis. You should not be deterred from pulling this, but it looks like the Yoda Gliders are trying to set something up here. They do catch Dude Man Bro inside the rivers. The shell will allow him to get out as well as an ultimate. 
La verdad que pueden chasear perfectamente El Hércules sigue teniendo bling ¡Huge! Vamos más kill Penta, penta Penta, penta, penta ¡No! ¡Nice! Huge teamfight Lay Phoenix Punto positivo para Lay Phoenix Son for shit No nos hemos preparado nada Bueno, en verdad sí nos hemos preparado Pero no pasa nada Pabila, chaval, pabila Quiero ver una teamfight guapa Vale, buen poke Me gusta Huge eso es huge A ver el Stimix Vale, buena ulti Eso es así un poco peruano Crack en el aire Nice Ay, Dios ¿Dónde está puesto Isotos, tío? Eh, ¿me hacéis el favor de hacerle pila a este chaval, por favor? Gracias Normal, tío Eh, bueno, no... Eh. Ojo. No, no. Nice. Huge. Feni de izquierda, chavales. Adelante. Nice. Vale, fuerza en ulti for sure Ah, pues no Ah, hostia, es verdad que el Mepil rode a cooldown Nevermind, olvidad todo lo que acabo de decir Sí, coja Nice, pulls Nice, nice Síguela, 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 síguela Pull contra pared Holy Stevens le Stimix, tranquilet, venga a casita, hermano, por no estar preocupados. La próxima vez os preocupáis más a dormir. A casita. Who are going to be taking it away? The tanks from the Guild of Gladiators putting on an absolute masterclass of how to serve up kills for your team. First, Rawin finds the beautiful rivers of beauty. Vamos ahí, having fun, boys. Having fun, boys. Then you just have the numbers game. The Guild of Gladiators showing up. Having fun, boys. Performance there. And what a great start here for the Guild. A ver, Raijin. Very good objective. High mobility, eh? Cuidado, Raijin. High mobility. Madre mía, no sé ya que era una cerquet el Raijin. Perdón. Well, actually, some Gino peel might help secure it, but nope. Rapio is going to be able to secure that one. Gino giving some chase. Potentially some damage here. Sino dashing in. Silence could be in a lot of trouble. There's a slice and dice, and down he falls for first blood. That's easy. Disengage yourself. Similar methodologies between these two, but one gets gets a percent pen early. Gino and Silas both taking a lot of damage. That's going to be the Earthshaker taking Silas down to half. The Porsche also taking a large chunk of his health bar. But look at the wraparound from Relentless One here. Going to be stunning out Vaporish and well, going to stun out his life bar as well. The grayscale screen is what he's going to be seeing for the next 20 seconds. Meanwhile, Calvin Wood is having basically opened goal theory here. Silas and Zap. Potentially looking to come back around for some contention, but it's too little, too late. Yeah, no way the Highland Ravens could stick around. Lobelga may have been off more than he can shoot. Going to that world serpent to disengage. Yo, este, este me está rotando en plan. Make no mistake, he is not sticking around in this fight. Two kills now to Calvin Wardens off a. Are we expecting Relentless One to further commit into this kind of supportive playstyle, or? Maybe a little bit more bruiser, or maybe a bit of aggression as Lamogao caught inside the tower. I was not expecting that much damage to come through onto the snake. A lot of ultimates expended for it, though, and now Sino is able to make it out. Butcher blades, when you put points into that ability, you are passively building power. So I like what we've seen from Rapio, but no impact ultimates just yet. It's going to be the frenzy pop for the Cowlins. As they're going to actually scratch that Never mind, because Mosuar knows how to ensure that how much damage he's going to get. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Yeah. Oswald still doing oh. some damage. Backfire is gonna fi finish that one out. Highland Ravens may have taken. 
free, and now looking at Silenced, he could potentially be in some uh, rough waters here, gets picked up, and he's got three people right next to him, a huge cataclysm, but with the ultimate from Nemesis, I'm not sure it's going to matter. The roll away ooh, is going to save him for ooh. now, though. Rapio. But Rapio's getting turned on. There's the damage from Oswald to finish off that one. Sap 7 in some difficulties. Hey, Gino able to force well. out that jump, but there's going to be the beats and Aegis to stop him from getting picked up. Sino could be in some trouble, but Sap falling up in that top line. Moswald, Mogao charging up into the top lane to try and help out the Flourish, who is under this tier 1 tower all by himself against five people. Sino blinking board, but a beautiful act to stop him up, jumps over the wall. Griff is there to say hello. Moswell does fall down to the gap though, but they Porish is in trade. Nah, Gino and Relentless One still keeping up pressure. Lamoga low HP and no defense to his name. Might be able to stealth his way out. He's lined up against Griff, so you better believe his HP is going to vanish immediately. Griff puts out a double, oh, and now the Kowloon well. Wardens can fall. Don't don't really want to leave anything to chance. They're going to oh, fall Silence out. away. That is a huge <laughs> cooldown. I think Silence should get this... Uh, Death here, Sino should be able to do it. One more auto. Should do it. Goodbye, Mr. Gep. The Wardens want to go straight onto this objective. Sino, all, sorry, Gino, already peeling out, and it's going to fall down before even the Earthshaker connects. That is scratch that. Well, I didn't know that. That is a big cool down coming into this. Well, attack fallando todas las habilidades y yo teniendo que arreglar su mierda. 100 por 100 por eso. There's the frenzy and already the burn. Half HP. The Porsche gets knocked up and there's the Earthshaker. No one gets hit by it, but the space it creates. Zone ultimate. The Highland Ravens, they don't have a whole lot left in the tank. They Porish is the target. Scratch that. It's Silence getting thrown back in the Dios team already instantly down to half cabrón. HP. Just Ojo. about slips around the back, but Relentless One could be in spoiler. some no form entro of bien distress here. Gets hit by the Axe, okay. and that's going to be the first kill bueno, for Snap7 to mount this defense. I think the best play for them, <laughs> actually, scratch that. They Porish gets instantly deleted there. Moswald does too much damage. Yeah, this Vulcan is not one to be scoffed at. Now the Kaladin Wardens in a 4v4 would like to reinitiate in the Phoenix. Oh my god, Mogao gets deleted, Griff! And the rest cosa, of his team combined to pick up the carajo, World Serpent. And now in this 3v4 calvo. situation, Mifflin, there's a little bit of health missing from two of these players on the Kowloon Wardens, but it's Griff and Moswald that are still 100%, and that Fire Giant is still ticking away, making sure they have health to spare. Silenced is going to get shredded by that ultimate, but already the Phoenix at half HP. But now with a minion wave in, it's going to be that much easier. Fire Giant, only 10 seconds there left on is. the buff. The Highland Ravens will not come. We saw, you know, just barely able to pick up one kill no that say, last dear. time around, but the Ravens are looking They're like they want up. to try and push this, but it's a little bit late. They've already pushed up a lot, though. Silence, no Esta movement. Puede bien, eh? Esta puede bien, eh? Uses that ultimate in the back line. Here comes Rapio doing some damage to the bueno, carries, but the damage is right back given to him. Meanwhile, Sap7 just bueno. chewed through by Relentless One. I silence taken muerto, down as well. They porridge should be the next POI, and though the beads are popped, it's vale. not going to save his life. Only one, sorry, two men left standing back down to one. Only the Bakasura and check the right lane, ladies and gentlemen, because that is where Rapio is. None of the Ravens are here to defend their Titan, and that is going to put Kowlin Wardens through to the winner's side of the bracket. That's just a clean performance well, from the Kaladin Warden to establish well, the pace Vaporis very early on in this game. And never uh, off of her passive while apply or a dealing with the roto. damage output, the dot damage of Apwash. <laughs> She'll get stunned out. Madre and similarly, mia, Hercules can find himself in the Rama. Same sort of style. You can go up into sure. the sky, stall. It looks like a Kraken maybe coming here. Ooh, Sino gobbled up by damage, but no. one dash will nearly be enough. The second no! won't nice. make its way onto the map. And I... uh, some point Huge. here, first blood. Item, but it's Archer of, pillado por la banda, hermano. Dame mi rom, dame mi rom. I'll be working on that one for quite some time. Has been some pressure in mid, but now it finds its way to do. Oh no. my goodness. One side, purple buff invade on the other for the gilded gladiators. Relentless one uses the last bit of mana for a dazzling offensive that has stunned out two targets. Sino with the first dash and the second. Chases down the damage, and the Kowlin Wardens repel the blue buff invade and grab themselves a kill. Mm, muy yeah, peruano, no? is extremely tanky, but Rotwin not so much with the stone cutting sword, making sure here? to shred those. But it looks like Moswell's gonna make the rotation as well. Can't heal if that fleeting breath hits, and it does. Well, how's the stem is gonna play? Nice, eh? gonna send Moswell right back towards Como está the rest teaming. of his team. Mass bien, kill bien, picks up the veo. kill, and Moswell takes a tumble. Listimix turns se divea, se divea, se divea. There could be more tanking up the tower now as Listimix. A dash away with the last bit of mana from Relentless One. Cracking up, nice. cracking down, double kill for the Kali. 
And it's a worthwhile rotation for Mass Kill. Oh, Tony with the solo kill, though. Looks like Toddy found for the Kalen Wardens after things stabilized. Relentless one could be in some trouble here. No dazzling offensive. Destruction is there for Mass Kill, and Lestemix is full HP. Should be a relatively easy kill, and it sure is. And how? And Gold Fury is going down somewhat quickly. Toddy up to the sky sends the snipes down and will not steal it. That was close, though. Nice crit. From Griff brings back Rotwin's health a little bit. Jump in from Mass Kill. Stun avoided by Griff and under the water. Yo, el Griff is está cuajado. ¿no? Secured by the kill of the Gladiators. Double Pero stun from Griff. What a nice Rowan. setup. But nothing to be had. Here's the rotation potential, though, of a Horus. Back behind Gino, it goes. The Kraken nice. is perfect. The fantastic ultimate from Moswall actually makes things interesting here. That'll set up a kill for Sino. Eh, the double dash might be nada, the double. No Sino beats one del, Morado del, and he's got it. Calvin Ward, he's turning around. Han tardado demasiado en matarlo. Vamos, Les Phoenix, dámelo, 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 papi, dámelo. Sácalo, sácalo. Es mejor, es mejor. No. Era mejor que lo sacara directamente el combo. Either way, with the Trident, Poseidon is going to be shredding with auto attacks. You know, though, is getting blinked on. Fantastic. Hold on to the Kraken a minute ago. And you use it now to evaporate the health bar of Gino. They're magical online, but it is cheap penetration. It's going to help your Krakens burn through. Gino picks up a hard ward, so you might need some of that penetration. Rotwin stunned. Sino will end up getting the kill. He trades out his life for it. Makes it a one for one. Initiation. Crack is down though. Moswell still has his own. Moswell still has his own. Tienen que buscar push con Hercules. O sea, presión con Hercules. The Cowan Wardens have the advantage. Now, limited objective security for the Gladiators as well. The pull brings Gino right to the forefront. The Primal Fury reset at half HP. Mass kill will wander on away. The Cowan Wardens would see this, where a team j just they they build up their obelisk a couple of times and then they just let the trebuchet go. Both of them, all of them, buena, at some eh? point. And that's exactly what the Wardens do here. Results in a tower on right. Vale. They lose a kill in mid as Moswell ends up going down. Destruction will keep Mass Kill alive and healthy. Now it's nice. engage time for the Kalen Wardens. Gilded Gladiators backpedaling in mid. Gino double pulse from the trebuchet, I guess. Take a little chunk out of it. Vale. Gilded Gladiators make no some of it over in mid. A couple levels in the jungle seem to be the real difference here. So it's about getting mass kill involved. The mass kill is involved on Gino. Right kill, eh? The health bar la roba? Nice. Oh, sigue la, sigue la, sigue la. Away by excavate. The stimics make Huge. the play on one side of the. Ale pilar de pico uno. Mass kill does nice. on the other. The mass hey, kill. Mass, low, mass, mass kill no ultimate. Vale, and mass kill goes down. Calvin Wardens and stole the pyromancer. I almost forgot about that. The stimics sends the boulder right down Main Street. Fire Back giant though, burning. Fire giant low. Fire giant secured. By the Kowlin Wardens, Rotwin full on disengaged. Kraken finds a whole lot of nothing. And the Kowlin Wardens now able to push forward effectively. Griff from range has the first. Now backpedaling away from Toddy though. Oh, my He's in an awkward spot in no. this fight. Both ADCs trying to initiate, but you've got to play your advantages where they lie. And Sino's got one. Mass Kill's got another, and now both junglers the ones getting involved. Mass Kill doesn't have blink available, will fall down, and Sino cleans up the last. So this will be the DSI tier two, and right is going to be going down very quickly. And this is probably going to be Phoenix, and they've got plenty of time. It's just going to be Rotwin. Yeah, just going to be Rotwin up in 10 seconds. You're going to see yeah, so how much easier out, yeah. life is when you can siege these tanky Phoenixes without anyone back on oh, defense. There. Because this is not going to be the quickest objective to go down. It takes a little bit of time here. Because there, there's maybe another meta, though there are still three towers still on the map. Where well, you're wondering if you've got enough time to even put mobility of this horse to come out to play, except for maybe very early on. Oh, as far as the ultimate goes, oh, you might not be able to see it, because that is a <laughs> melted two members <laughs> of the Gilded Gladiators God, before still. the fight oh, even yeah. begins. Both ultimates still left up. Destruction not able to be used. And Mass Kill in the player cam looking confused. The Kraken goes down, and the Gilded Gladiators might as well. It is now chase down time for the Warden. Soto's pulled in, and Soto's deleted. Gino picks up two. Easy burn through, then runs down and picks up Soto's as well. This Atlas putting on an absolute masterclass on how to CC targets and make sure your team is able wow. to win those fights. Just 
beautifully played by Gino. This is a game that started effectively for the Gladiators and was potentially ignoring some of the 9 o sea, me He still certainly has that ability to go towards it. Yeah, this time around, not going to be Ojo. finding the Nox there. A lot of HP in their own regard. Has a oh, oh, huge! Oh, the tower oh, swinging! Just, oh, the nice! As I mentioned in game one, yeah, when you're fighting so bien. close to a tower and there's a hurt underneath that tower, Relentless One lives that nine out of ten times unless that extra tower yep. shot comes through, which Lestemic's body blocked perfectly. So great play, but now Moswell could be in some trouble. Moswell is in trouble. Teleport Ooh. in, available for mass kill. And Sino doesn't have ult, but does have a kill. So I have a good idea of no what se happened over here ese on map. Sin ulti. And it looks like Mercury ah, vale, si no the ulti, duel lane and kills the Gladiators by surprise yeah, too. There's no ward back there mejor, just yet. Yeah, I'm not sure Rot one's gonna extend out to drop a ward and could be an easy return oh. gank. How about this though? The Kraken on a Moswell and a 2v1 from Sotos nearly pays off. But Moswell knocked up, won't end up getting taken down. It's all on Gino. There's no justice no. in the world. Soto's played that so effectively, and it ends up turning around. Right now, looks like Soto's is very far out. Soto's beads burnt away. Hermano, no puede ser esto, Gino, Sino can send the ultimate out if you want, but would rather stick around and deal some damage. And Sino has got it. A 2-0 start for the Mercury. Could be a third double stun out from Relentless One. Then it's a bloodbath in the mid lane. What a fight from the Kalen Wardens. Typhoon should disengage. Like every time they try to find some kill potential with right. this Kraken, you're just able to survive. Sino doesn't have his ultimate nice. back, but does have the spin around. No chance. You gotta get this kill, but you gotta get it cleanly if you're the Gladiators, and it'll be another trade out. Es que veis, hermano, están peleándose todo el rato, tío. Kills like Sotos have been picked up twice when Rowan was nearby. This time around, the Relentless One could be in some trouble. Relentless One. Knocked back behind the Harpies, another dazzling offensive out, but the stun not there. Knock up, not knock back, Oof. but damage for the Gilded Gladiator's jungler. Vale, no mal, la de que la ola. Looks like a blue. But the Kalen Wardens won't let off the gas. It's now a Gold Fury that gets pulled. The Gino in vale, behind the Rowan. Bien. Pulls back the Nox, a charge up of the ultimate from Sino, flies through and gets the send back onto Rot when ultimate at point blank range. Es que no, doesn't no tan, tan parante, no, no han bajado la gol ni al 50, tío. Ya no pueden defenderla. Beautiful bait there. Looks like Soto's might wrap around here with the Kraken and Tadi has built as well, but looks like Soto's isn't gonna make it. Oh, nope, casi, not tío, time, but we can consider the amount of steel about Typhoon and Kraken. And if they didn't come out again, the Noca, but man, what is this? What is this? And Toddy with Aegis survives the Desert Fury. Hit your auto attacks, kids. That's what this is all about. The damage of the up down is there. And Griff handedly winning this 1v1. Sino didn't have to do anything. And Griff picks up a solo kill. If Sino got the kill there with Major Look, I would have been very upset stealing that mass kill. That was going to be in some trouble. And he's definitely going to fall as well. Beautiful pickup. Available, and they're behind the tower right now. Charlie, we, we've seen these styles of games before from this Kalen Wardens team. They are absolutely relentless. And that's not just a play on words for their solo laner. I mean, th this is the style Madre mía, el Atlas, tío. ¿Dónde está el chaval que dijo que no tenía potencial, hermano? ¿Eso qué es? Madre mía, tío. A very tanky no sé, supongo que me gusta. That. You usually want to focus down the healers. Right now, the relentless one will use the ult. And that should be the end of this. Should be. Actually sticks around for the stun because Sino hits a three-man ultimate. And now the Kalen Wardens can rally around their jungler, Kraken. Vale. Gets Sino low and gets the shutdown. A nice start to the fight for the Gilded Gladiators. Double Typhoon on the back end. Keeps things slow. Blink away from Lestemix. A silence out from Rotwin as well. But the Kalen Wardens insatiable chasing down their targets. Relentless One will finish off the support. Mass kill on the disengage. Lestemix, the last one to stick around. There's just not enough damage to the game we've got so far this weekend if the Kalen Wardens keep up this pace. We are 18 minutes in, looking at the first FG. Lestemix what? brought to the back. But si he was in beats. Hell, but he will not return. Fire Giant down to half HP. He was in beats. He was in amarillo. Might get in range for a stun. Up go the snipes, but a good delay. And the Kalen Wardens, oh, it's still burning. That again was close. What? But the Kalen Wardens, they want the Phoenix. Right side Phoenix looked at by the Wardens. Into the back is Relentless One. Double stun, and he's just doing it all on his own. Sotos melted through by the Amaterasu. 
but unable to secure the kill is Relentless One. Rotwin suffering a very similar fate, but another kill escapes. The Kalen Wards nice. double knockup by Mass Kill. Can the disengage come in time from the Wardens? For the time being, yes. Griff pulled back, but Mass Kill doesn't have a target within range, ends up getting the last auto, but it gets traded out. How different this could look if the Wardens were able to finish off some kills. Yeah, Moswell has the chase here. Tidy's gonna be getting very low, doesn't have the one available, and they're so close to well. Yeah, and again they get back, but Moswell finishes off the kill on to Toddy. No chance you're finishing the game right now. And the Callan Wardens knock down the Phoenix, knock down. I mean, it's only about the we'll halfway point <laughs> here. Sino might have a grab already. Sino in place, though. Uh-oh, Sino made a bad play. The nice. Miller does block off the jungler this time. And the Gilded it's Gladiators so grab an opening kill. The reinitiation should happen now. If you're the Gilded Gladiators, you, you got down a priority target. But by the time you get in, the Gallon Wardens start bueno. you got a little bit more time if you're the Gilded Gladiators to push one more wave into your left side Phoenix. The Fire Giant burns down just fine for the Cal. He's searching over the screen for, for what happened. Nice. He's out of position right now. It's Gino vale. as he's pulled back. Bueno, Pogues. Nice ulti del Susano. Otro pull, otro pull. Oh, era ese. Era ese pull, hermano. A ver, tiene que tener cuidado ahora con la ulti del Mercurio. Por el se paga la pinfa ahí. Y el tipo ese puede hacer un montón de espacio con las alas. Si eres Moswell y el resto de los Wardens para hacer este siege más fácil. Sí, tienes el Fire Giant buff y tienes el Hell Healing. Ellos realmente pueden solo sentar aquí porque nadie de los Kill to Gladiators ha quedado. Este Phoenix es todavía muy débil y Gino finalmente va a encontrar el pull. Pero Stemix tiene que usar los beads. Dash es away. Sino ha encontrado un double sonic boom en el back. Él va. Uno más crit es todo lo que necesita, pero no lo encuentra en el right side Phoenix. It falls. Gino ahora chasing down Sotos, chasing down Rotwin, back into the fountain. Go a few members of the Gilded Gladiators to regain that HP. It's a brilliant pullback in from Gino. And the setup yet again comes from the Atlas. They don't really have too many team fight ultimates to try and send this. I don't think the shots from Toddy are going to be doing too much. It looks like mid Phoenix will be the new target now for the Kowlin Wardens. And still, Mass Kill is lurking on the side. Wardens one fight away from moving on to the next group here in Smite Masters. One more kill away, maybe. And Sotos will crumble as well. Toddy gets a kill on a Gino. Finally, for the first time this game, Gino dies, but it does not matter because the Titan will die as well. And the Kowlin Wardens, they will take this set 2-0. And it looks like once again, after playing with their food for a little bit, Gino just setting up the whole team with these pulls. I mean, once you see these pulls, into the engage, then you have the man advantage. That seems to be the go button for all these fights, just playing so solidly on this Atlas pick. This is why we are seeing it so highly contested. Getting your ADC ahead we'll has always been the name of the game, so picking a solid support to man. do so seems to be the way to go. I think the Gladiators are the the that life is muy roto, with the unique play. Well, better than them. going to be a nice little pick up, or a nice little matchup with that one. Man. But no, talking about that double hunter, this is something that's always prepared perfectly. Even Quig can make it very difficult to escape. As the ultimate through from Oath goes straight nada, no? to nice silence tier, but the Mesmerize is going to stop that aggression. Meanwhile, mía, que estoy in, the, in the in the lane itself, Rapio on his way in, but now Oath has been isolated, and already the final judgment comes Ooh. through as he sent through the nine realms. Surely that means he's going to fall down as soon as he lands. There's a little bit of a delay. It does throw Rapio up into the sky, but. He is going to fall down eventually. Speaking of the sky, Quig goes up there as well, but I don't think there's going to be too Madre much. Madre mía, vaya engage más extraño, ¿no? Completely open the game. Hace de duer. As we've been watching, it is slowly and slowly. Mm, cuando no me des banen, me pondré ahí un, un avatar de. No sé, tío. De Kakashi, tío. En plan saludito, ¿sabes? Vale, esa gol está bien. Is in the area, but this is going to be a really risky fight for him Dios, to try and take. Robada, Tusky eh? goes Close. in. Eldritch Hounds able to steal it away. Dude, man, bro, with the ultimate. And now the Sonic Boom coming in from the Mercury, trying to find some damage onto Silence. Not quite going to find it. Up into the sky he goes. Vaporish now in a bit of a separated position. Dude, man, bro, gets him with the trap, and there's the death from Oath. One falls down, and Dude, man, bro, is the. In the duo. But 
inside of his own tower, also with uh, Aegis available. I don't think there's a chance. Rapio could be in some danger that hits the ult off onto Remakami, but a beautiful shield is going to save his life for now, but not for too much longer. Remakami. Now the Ravens approaching quickly, and uh -huh. in first. Three people hit with that Mesmerize, and Oath still trying to track this Pyromancer, but he's going to fall that? down here. Scratch that, the Aegis oh, is no. going to save his life just for now. Up into Get the sky, it goes no, one, seven, go seven. Just about two oh, HP, Aegis. and the waves are going to crush him down. Falls, Sap, Seven, Mogau, the next potential For target five, here already no. low, and there's going to be a second kill. Rebekami claims credit for that one. Silence being chased out here, and it's just one by one. They fall mid lane. He's already down into his passive, and Porus gets hit by the two from the, the Baron Sandy. <laughs> and there's nothing else that the Ravens can really <laughs> do to contest anything. So the Eldritch Hounds are going to go straight to the Fire Giant. Yeah, the Porus Coast nearby is still very safe, has the ultimate available with Rebekami and Chris having his goaltender. How can he work his way forward? Fire Giant, though, burning very, very slowly. Dude Man Bro, the only one DPSing. Well, now that O's here, should go a little quicker. But Porish still getting uh, just completely walled out here by Ramakami. Sí, la, 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 I think that might be the fastest buff, so a good bit of time for the Elder Towns to play with, and it has been a slow push from them. Finally, a five on five. Good damage and a quick, though. There's the pull in. Vaporish has to use the ultimate defensively. I think the beats come out there as well. The tier two falls. Nice and now blingo. here comes Tusky. No one in range, though. Oh, the Sonic oh, Boom finds Sap shouldn't. in the back line. And he's going to fall down. Beads expended for absolutely nothing. Rapio gets away by himself. But the left hand side now, this Phoenix is looking very open to this roster. Silence takes a petrified. No, say, yo al Miguel lo veo no, ya con las ROMs del siguiente duo Tai. Guiño, guiño, no, Miguel. Guiño, guiño. With. I mean, every single time ser Marta, he goes that second ability, it feels like every single one of Ravens are, and honestly, Mifflin, I don't think the Ravens could have defended this even if they wanted to. Mogao, the only one really showing presence, has to use the dash away. Fire Giant is going to uh, fall down here in just a second. Luckily, the Ravens are able to get this tier two. No, the sé, side, so that's at least la something gente que no usa la like the boxeador de Mercurio. But everyone on no the Eldritch Hounds is on their way back, and luckily the Ravens decide. Side Lamogao, though. Maybe too far forward. Oath may be able to catch up with him here, and he's going to do just that. The spin is going to force the ultimate, but I don't think it's going to count for anything, Mifflin. Down he falls. The ultimate from Rapio also expended, and Yikes. there are the walls. What no. a beautiful placement from Oath. Down falls Rapio. Down falls Vaporish. And Mifflin, they don't care about the right lane anymore. The the that that they've changed their mind. No 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 I think they just go just straight to it. mid lane here. No absolutely. No they don't even need bueno, to go to mid lane. What am I talking about? Nada. They just walk straight through. I think they want to take this tier 2 just, well, to, uh, just, yeah, just to soften up this uh, Titan just a little bit. But by the looks of things, they do not sí, care no, about this Phoenix whatsoever. Silenced and Sap, the only men standing between Eldritch Hounds and game number one of this game. Scratch that, basically just silenced at this point. There's Tusky to finish up at the, uh, the Kumbakana. Sap is going to fall down here as well. And Mifflin, game number one, pretty handily in the hands of Eldritch Hounds. Fortunately for the Highland Ravens, they are embarrassed in game one. Not a blank. They pick up one kill to match the 11 of the Eldritch Hounds. It was a slow start, but an explosive ending to a very quick... Because I just think they scale really well. They're good at the, from the early game with the Assassins. They always have the threat of Athena Taunt and Athena Rolls after level 5. And that should be all... You can create an account of secondary jugar off stream with another name and all the pesca. If you wonder why Rapio doesn't commit onto the kill on the Rolling Army, because I think that likely to have enough damage to at least finish off the kill with one auto attack afterward. Rapio couldn't see a flickering vision. It's just completely removed. Me he tirado 10 years jugando on my 10 and me ando. Para echarme una casual con Ropiper, hermano. No pillar of agony for him this time, but Quig underestimates the amount of damage he's going to take from that. Rapami takes one tower shot, nearly falls down. Rapio off the mark with the bats, but the jump is going to get it. Oh, no puedo jugar competitivo y no puedo estimar que básicamente lo que me da prácticamente todo el dinero que gano. Entonces, en qué exacto, en qué me aporta exactamente. And a ton of damage mitigation. Silenced in some trouble here. He's just gonna fall down. Sap seven doesn't necessarily have to be the warlocks though. He could uh, keep us guessing and go towards something else. Rapio on the right hand side, but this Can time both have... and Athena are on their way too. Remakami is gonna fall down, but now there are two v two here on the right hand side. And look Woo! at the damage from Oath. They rips through Mogao. No? Rapio forced to fly away, and it looks like Oath and Quig are going to back off. Silence comes around, and that's going to struggle around objectives. Now that Vaporish Coast has some crit early on, 
those objectives could burn a lot more quickly. Here comes Rapio once again on the right-hand side. This time, Oath choosing to ult Remakami straight up. And now there's Mogao using his ultimate already. Luckily, the beats from Remakami are going to save him for now. But Quig is going to get pinned down now by Silence, who's coming in. The dash away is going to keep him safe for now, but Rapio's right on his tail, and that should be one down. But already, Mogao has fallen, and Silence is going to fall down straight away after him in a two-for-one trade. Now, Mifflin, with the solo hey, lane the down, the support down board, as well, eh? this could be a part for the Hounds to side against it. For now, as Silence... The new target up here in the jungle. Oath is really able to chew through this tank. And there's the ultimate through from Athena. Those sand Poor clones guy. are gonna slow him to oh, death. Man. Silence has oh, not man. been able to get a word in edgeway. Damn, man, as the game goes on, as the build up, it's gonna be a lot harder oh, to finish off these kills. No, he's gonna oh. take so much damage. The lineup hits three people down full Madre set seven mia, for the double man. kill and Oath. Still potentially Me chasing out, he's eso, gonna to give it up Yikes. to the rest of his team. Rapio gets picked up by Ramakami, and what a devastating play. That final judgment was massive. Yeah, that is, that is no exactly way. what you want, right? I mean, Ro lo lines it up. Says, hey, what, what do you want, Dina? Well, you've got this. long range artillery, burst damage, and that's exactly what Crimson does. Finds the three-man ultimate, and now can look to a 17-minute fire giant again. Deja vu. Mogel, the only person oh, here, no. and the silence is going to stop him from doing anything in well, terms of Hades-based shenanigans. This snipes through from Vaporish away to early Mifflin, and that is absolutely free for the Eldritch House. Phoenix, especially considering there's a trebuchet right behind them. The Highland Ravens, it's going to be a struggle. Blinking forward already quick, forces Vaporish up into the sky and Sap straight into the back line himself. But look at the damage, Mifflin Mogao is able to walk down one. Sap is going to fall down already to Oath. That's going to be a double kill for Oath. Triple kill, Mogao takes a spill. Silenced is going to fall down as well. Crimson able to pick up that one. Only Vaporish left alive, no quadra kill oh, available on. for Oath. But Crimson might be able to pick up the double kill. The Phoenix on the left hand side. Se los han down, ball, and with four people down, Vaporish doesn't have a hope in hell to clean up this one, and it should be the Ravens being the first team home at Smite Masters 2022. The Elder Towns came to play to be sure, a convincing set for them. Y una cosa, el dude man bro ese, porque se está riendo de un tío que está jugando en NA. O sea, en EU. This was a quick start that similarly ends quickly. I think we can uh, we can chalk game number one. Cuando claramente, o sea, no sé, tiene una desventaja uh, en el equipo que se llama really, Lemo Go, tío. Es como, es como los de Titans. Cuando, tiene, cuando tenían el Scary D, cabrón. Tú, tú veías a alguien riéndose de, de los de Titans. No, ¿verdad? Me he quedado loco, tío. No sé, me voy a ir, tío. Voy a. Es que me duele un poco la cabeza, tío. Voy a ducharme, voy a tomarme un algo y voy a. Y voy a relajarme un rato, tío.